one welcome back to the channel does everybody know what that is six liter high pressure oil pump you guys know where it goes right there when we tore down this truck you guys can see it has the old style snap to connect fitting these are prone to leaking at this connection point the new one is a jam nut style fitting all one piece um, you can find all these parts in this kit for your 2004 depending on the model year and up six liter including a conoline. line uh, but you guys can see it comes with uh, a little bracket to uh, keep everything plastic I should say bracket to keep everything in line uh, new bolts for the adapter pump two o-rings under the pump um, this I don't replace I don't take out you can check high pressure oil pressure with a gauge or something I just leave that plug in there I'm not touching it so um, it also comes with new IPR seals we're gonna go ahead and break those down and a pump cover gasket that I've already installed and cleaned and prepared for installation so uh, I'm going to go over the steps that you need to do to replace this if one hasn't already and uh, get it reinstalled back into the truck all right so uh, we got to take that off all right so I got it in the vise here and you guys can see um, there's a flat on the pump uh, on the back nose I like to put it in the vise um, right there so we're we're all one piece, it's not. We're using a, a one inch. Just gonna go ahead and bust this out of the pump. I've had them really bad, blown out, that this piece just comes right right out of this snap to connect fitting without even without even doing anything. It's supposed to be a special tool to separate these two, but like I said, they've come apart. You can see this. There's a little, a little play in there. Potential high pressure oil leak. All right, so uh, the new one, we have to lube up the threads and the O-ring that's on here. Uh, we're not gonna mess with this. This is preset um, from manufacturing and this is gonna help us uh, get it in the correct orientation uh, for installation. So once we get that, you want to count. I'm gonna, this is how it's supposed to sit in here. I need this to spin five times to set the depth. So one, two, three, four, five. And now we go ahead and we tighten this nut. Um, one thing I wanted to show you is they want you to install this plastic bracket in one of the pump body mounting holes and um, through the adapter. I have broken this before um, with trying to achieve the proper torque on here. So I'm going to show you guys what I've done to keep this nice and sturdy. So I'm just going to loosely install this on, onto the pump, okay? They want you to wing nut this down. If you guys can see how flush I am right here against the bracket, this plastic piece is, you don't see any gap, okay? So this is going to be orientated that this is nice and straight. So now that I've gotten it clocked where I want it, you can either use a 3 quarter or a 19. I'm actually going to hold the block right here while I tighten while I tighten this nut. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, so you guys see where I've got this wrench against the gear bolt. I'm going to use that kind of as a, it's not going to allow it to turn. So I'm going to go ahead, this is supposed to be 49 foot pounds, 49 foot pounds. 49 foot pounds. I'm going to go right. I'm going to go one more. 
they want you to use a crow's foot, and I don't have a crow's foot. This is how I've how I've done it. Just tightened it pretty much until it can't go anymore. And then that's it. So then we come back here, we come back here to our alignment plate and try to put this back on, just verify our straightness. You guys can see there. We got no air gap right there. So we know we're good. So the next step while it's sitting here in the vise is to take off this old o-ring. Clean that up a little bit. Put the new one on. We're gonna move that up with some oil. So the cover goes on nice. next step. So on the bottom of the pump in the engine block there's a yellow o-ring that sits uh, on the feed. I'm just going to go ahead and clean the old o-ring residue off. So we have a nice clean, clean surface. Look at that, looks good. Now let's put the new O-rings in the block. So we got, this one goes into the branch tube. This one is the feed one. Remember I was telling you the yellow. They're not hard to mix up. They only go in one spot. When you take them out, this one can be kind of sticky in here. Don't whoop, fall in there. Same with this one. This is the branch tube right here. So remember I was showing you guys oil flow from the oil cooler on that last video and it feeds the pump the pump outputs and comes out that jam nut fitting and the oil pressure goes down into here goes into this tube goes this way and up into the cylinder heads and then feeds the injectors high pressure oil so all right let's get the pump and put it in okay so our clean pump fully assembled and torqued tightened on it it's got some dowels it sits on Okay, so that seems like it's nice and nice and flat. This connection down here looks nice and flat. Got our three new pump bolts and two new adapter bolts. These should start threading in right away. You shouldn't have to fight them. If you're fighting them, you haven't gotten the, the depth set correctly. Okay, we're going to torque those. Okay, so we're going to go for 23, 23 footies on all three bolts for the pump. Be careful not to drop your socket. Okay, and then this is 124 inch pounds. Well, if you do the math, that's 12 foot pounds. So I'm going to adjust my torque wrench to 12 and we're going to gingerly tighten these little 8 milli bolts. Okay, starting to get tight. Twenty-four footies, whatever you want to call it. Okay, tight. Here we go. Twelve footies. Okay, you guys. So the last thing I want to show you is to re-o-ring your IPR, and that's it. So when you so when you get that kit, it comes with a little IPR instruction sheet. We're going to remove and replace all four of those components. I'm just going to get this cap off like so. And then we got a green o-ring. We got a small black o-ring. 
we're gonna take this one off at the bottom and we're gonna put everything on just the way it came off roll this back o-ring kind of kind of taut got to stretch it just a little bit and then you guys can see it's not circular that's square cut o-ring so roll it on but make sure it's not rolled over on itself and it's sitting nice and flat the green one is circular don't care about that boy just roll that that the guy on and then we got our new screen look at that let's go ahead and pop our new screen on and make sure it's on all the way around all right you guys tell me if anybody's ever had to replace their snap to connect fitting with the new updated jam nut style on their high pressure oil pump for their six liter like and subscribe thanks for watching i'll see you guys next friday